I be rolling with the squad, we be going so hard like whoa. Hey everyone, TJ18 here. Thanks for joining me in this video. I've had quite a bit of messages recently and questions on how to play the uh, Wheel of Fortune game, the Wii edition, on the PC slash computer. There are a few older Wheel of Fortune PC games that already exist on the PC. However, these are difficult to come by and may not be compatible with modern operating system including Windows 10 so emulation may be your next best bet. For this video I will show you how to download the Dolphin emulator, configure it and set it up to play the Wii version of Wheel of Fortune. Dolphin is the emulation program for the Nintendo GameCube and Wii consoles. Of course Due to legal reasons, I cannot share directly where to download ISO files to add to your Dolphin emulator. I can, however, suggest on doing a search on Reddit, which may return some of the answers you may be looking for. So first things first, you'll want to head on over to the support website for Dolphin. I will put the link to the site in the description below, or just go directly to their website dolphin-emu.org whichever you prefer be sure your computer meets the minimum requirements to run dolphin the better your computer specifications are the better performance you can expect if you have a modern cpu an i5 or an i7 intel processor or an amd ryzen cpu you should not have any issues with performance even better if you have a discrete graphics card from NVIDIA or AMD. Go ahead to Dolphin's website and download the latest version of Dolphin Emulator. Scroll down until you see the stable release version of Dolphin 5.0. If you're experimental and like to experiment with some of the beta versions, go ahead and download one of those instead. Once installed, I will scroll through each section to show you what my settings are. Now, your mileage may still vary with performance unless you have the same exact hardware as myself. So once you've opened the Dolphin emulator, click on the top right corner where it says config. Majority of these settings will automatically be set by default but feel free to mimic any settings that I currently have in this emulator Next is the graphics settings, so hit on graphics and make sure these are your settings. Feel free to experiment with whichever back end settings that you choose. For me, D3, D11 seems to work best for my setup. In this section, I have mine set to 1080p with 1x filtering. If you have a weaker graphics card, you may want to set that down to 720p or to 1x for native resolution. Next, when you go under your controller settings, this is for the GameCube section. This is what my GameCube controller settings look like. 
I am using an Xbox 360 controller. Next up is the controller setting for the Wii Remote. I am also using the same controller for the Wii Remote. Just go on the configure for the emulated Wii Remote. And these are what my buttons are set up as. I am using the buttons, the IR, the swing, and the D-pad. For extension, if it requires a nunchuck, make sure you include that. And that's all to it. Just be sure, once you find your ISO, go ahead and run that in the Dolphin emulator, import that, and you should be good to go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for future videos like these as well as gameplay videos. I'm looking to hit my goal of 4,000 subscribers pretty soon. I am less than 100 away, so by subscribing you're helping me to reach that goal as well as showing your support. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Don't pause, press play. Don't pause, press play. Don't pause, press play. Don't pause, don't pause, press play.